most extraordinary thing about this movie is that it really is both light and dark, um, and it really is. It does go to very, you know, it's sort of the darkest of places, but it also has enormous amounts of humour. It's also, you know, apart from being the space opera action-filled world that we know, it's incredibly intimate, and that that was the thing that shocked me when I first saw it, which was the other night. Um, it's 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 very emotional and 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 very intimate, and uh, you know each character is really uh, given a, a great arc, and the way it's threaded together, I think is it's so satisfying. It's like a very rich rich meal. Again, I know you can't say much, but when you when you read this script and you learned more about your character, what was your initial reaction? I, I was thrilled when I saw where Snoke was going in this because he goes to some pretty horrible places, and uh, I mean he's a leader that is. What I can say is that he is a leader that is has been under attack, is therefore much more vengeful, full of rage and hatred. Um, but he is also there is an element of fear, um, and fear makes for bad decision making and uh, and he senses this this feminine force that's out there in the universe that is that is you know coming towards him and that is terrifying to him was Darth Vader your favorite character in your youth or who was your favorite character and has that changed wow, that's a difficult one i mean i loved han solo when i was growing up he was my he was my guy and um, but darth vader yeah darth vader is a great villain a really you know um, unforgettable cinematic villain so yeah of course he left a huge impression on you